so hello everyone. okay so hello we'll everyone start our meeting uh, five i was i am very much enthusiastic about our yesterday session and i hope you will enjoy today's session also so our today's speaker is pikash kumar he is from gaya college of engineering and he is going to conduct workshop in which he will uh, explain you about git github and in the last you will uh, know how to merge how to send a pull request and your first pull request will be merged by today so avishay uh, sorry vikas the stage is yours please start thank you anivesh for introducing me hello everyone how's it going uh, so before we start the session let's uh, click quickly let me know how many of you know about the git and github previously let me know in the chats uh, if you know uh, please tell me with yes no and uh, very soon within minutes we will start meanwhile i share my screen okay hopefully uh, my screen is visible to you all and uh, we are going to start uh, very soon okay so uh, yesterday you all guys uh, learned about uh, what is open source and what all the stuff and how the open source work the community and all the things now the point comes how you are going to work there what are the things that are needed to work between them there is a common uh, bridge that connects the open source community the organization and your work that is git and github now you will be wondering is the git and github are same or different things so uh, let me tell you these both are two different stuff git is totally different and github is totally different from each other so uh, let's quickly uh, get started with the git so what is git git is an open source distributed version control system designed for speed and efficiency okay the statement doesn't give some much more clarity but uh, let me tell you what exactly git is git is a kind of version control system what is meant by version control system version control system simply says that you are going to track your each and every uh, version of your uh, project or repository repository is simply your folder whatever your changes doing inside your folder in a file or anywhere git is simply going to take the snapshot what is the snapshot meaning snapshot is simply mean that the photo or a copy it creates and saves the copy of each and every changes you are going to do in your file so how it going to save that copy so uh, there is a method called git commit whenever you do a git commit the each snapshot is being taken and stored uh, we will discuss what all the things are uh, git commit and those all the stuff but for now you have to just understand that git is nothing but an open source distributed version control system which is designed for taking the uh, each and every snapshot of your change okay so uh, let's quickly move to the next slide and uh, what uh, the things git can do so uh, uh, let me tell you one thing that git doesn't need any internet to work uh, so what you can do with the git performing a difference so uh, performing a difference means that suppose you have made one file today you did some changes tomorrow you again may uh, make some change and you want to see that what was the change of yesterday and what was the change of today then you can perform the difference and it will list all the differences between the both the files on both day whatever performed okay that make clear uh, second thing what you can do you can see the file history viewing file history like who all viewed and uh, what kind of changes anyone made in that file or folder you can see with that committing changes uh, that we will see later merging branches uh, you can definitely create branch and these all the things we will see later one by one so uh, let's quickly go uh, to the next okay so uh, git is available for both linux and windows so you don't have to worry about those things uh, let's go to about installing the git so before using the git you need a uh, like right git you need a git to install so how you are going to install the git uh, i'm going to show you right over here so here if you see uh, this is the link 
to download the git i'm going to open that link so here you will uh, whenever uh, when you open this link yeah so whenever you open this link uh, downloads you choose your operating system definitely it will be either mac os windows or linux upon that after that you will need uh, to click upon that you uh, when you click like i click for the windows it will start manually downloading so i have already installed in my system so i am not going to install that again uh, so simply uh, how you do any software installation just click Quickly, uh, quickly download and click on install, and it will install. Now, after installing, what to do next? Let's see. So, uh, when you have installed this, you are you need to set up. So, uh, let me uh, share uh, show you my screen, and there you click. So, after installation, uh, when you click click right click, uh, you will see Git Bash, or you can simply what do uh, in search bar you can type Git. bash so it will open with a command line okay here to check whether your git is installed or not what you have to do you have to just run the command git slash slash v uh, wait i uh, let me increase the size so that you can view more clear yeah that will be clear so you will write git slash slash version so when you type git slash slash version it will tell okay this version of git is installed on your, your system okay right so uh, probably uh, if you download today or uh, some day else uh, the version definitely is going to be changed right now it's 2.3 33.0 uh, that doesn't matter at all because uh, no matter you are on any version of git it's uh, going to completely run fine but uh, try to be updated i haven't updated for a while Uh, that's no issue now next thing what you need to do is to configure your uh, git like which username uh, will your git will show to everyone that yes this person is uh, making the chain uh, you can connect an email with that also like so here uh, you see the command is there git config global username uh, i will show how to set this so let me simply copy this one and uh, you can type as well so uh, con uh, control and uh, copy and paste kind of work differently might someone uh, of you get confused so whenever you have to copy something uh, you have to write uh, click control shift c for this git uh, git bash if you are in linux terminal same for that also because here control v and control c is not going to copy paste uh, so you have to do this way control shift v v okay uh, so uh, yes, this i should or you can do this way also so you written the name now i write my name over here uh, like this will work as my uh, username i setted my username next what uh, we have to set oh, this could be a better here yeah. so uh, next what we have to set we have to set the a uh, user email so quickly i will write uh, at top of my email now after set a uh, setup of this how to check that whether it is successfully set or not what you can do you can just uh, copy this one and uh, paste it and check okay it shows my name that means it's set up excuse me vikas yes so it would disturb you but your terminal screen is not visible to us okay okay wait wait so uh, let me Uh, no worry uh, let me do another way try <coughs> quickly open with the uh...
because i will suggest you to present again okay okay let me to start is it visible i think so my terminal is visible right now yes it is oh, okay okay sorry for the inconvenience uh, okay i quickly recap uh, those all the things so as i told uh, uh, about installing the uh, git after you install the git uh, what you have to do uh, just uh, go over the search bar and type git bash because uh, we recommend to use the uh, command line interface like you can have uh, that uh, client interface also but uh, it's generally recommended that you use this command line interface okay so uh, when you open your command line interface the first thing you have to do to check uh, your uh, version of uh, git it makes sense uh, because Uh, you will get to know like which version you are running is the uh, the there is need to update or not okay so uh, so uh, it's done so uh, next uh, thing what we will need to do is to uh, set up uh, our page to set up uh, this page uh, uh, we will do uh, the configuration okay so let's do the configuration for the uh, doing the configuration you will simply write git config global why we uh, need to put the global uh, the reason is to use it uh, from anywhere in your terminal or anywhere uh, whenever you uh, put your commits or uh, any changes uh, this username uh, will be shown there so i put my username as uh, vikash and uh, enter so it's uh, there's no uh, error so it's good Uh, next uh, what we need to do is to set our email so for same similarly like that we will put uh, this email and user dot email okay so i quickly write my email okay, i think uh, okay uh, uh we forgot to mention that global and uh, no worry let me clear this one yeah that uh, global and then so dot email after that you put your email so uh, we are done with it how to check that whether it successfully uh, uh, done or not uh, we will quickly go over uh, check that so we will first check whether our username is set or not so it's showing vikas that it's good uh, it's uh, set and next we will check for uh, user email so when you type this i got my email that means uh, the setup is clear now next thing what you have to do uh, is what all the things that we can do uh, while using the git uh, git so we can create a new repository uh, repository is nothing but uh, just a folder with a, a git uh, extension okay second we can commit the change branch merge and cloning repo updating that we all Uh, see those things later now the uh, point comes how do we start uh, working with the git what is the thing that we need to require to do in our folder to start work before that uh, let me tell you a few uh, basic commands of uh, linux uh, so to create a folder uh, what we do in uh, linux is mkdir and we will uh, say the folder name uh, so folder name for now i uh, see the 
गेट वर्कशॉप सो इट विल इट हैज क्रिएटेड वन गेट वर्कशॉप नेम फोल्डर सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सी दैट फोल्डर यू हैव टू सिंपली टाइप द एल एस कमांड सो एल एस कमांड गिव्स ऑल द लिस्ट ऑफ द folders or the files available there so uh, right now what i have created git workshop so quickly uh, let's find uh, here you will see that uh, my folder is being created git workshop let me show you over here also uh, i think somewhere uh, it's it's been created i could not record it uh, see right now Uh, it but uh, yeah it's created it's been created uh, nothing to worry so let to move that folder uh, we will write cd and they will then we will write the name of the folder that is uh, git workshop and we are uh, there in the git workshop folder so whenever when you are in a git workshop folder uh, it's nothing it's a clean empty folder now what we need to do we need to initialize it with git so the command we are going to uh, run for that is quickly go over here that is git init what the git init means that it's going to initialize this folder with git so let's uh, quickly do that git init so when you do git init a dot git uh, kind uh, a hidden folder especially uh, when you see uh, this dot present over any uh, folder that means it's a hidden folder so when you do ls it will show nothing but to uh, see all the hidden folder what you have to do just write ls minus a it will show you this folder that's name dot git okay so now it's initialized with git what we can say you can check the status also git status and it says okay you are on a master branch there are no commits and nothing to commit also because uh, our file is empty what we next need to do let's see what we next are going to do now the command is there uh, if you move inside the uh, dot git folder you can uh, see something uh, a tree like a structure which tells you about the details of all that since our folder is right now empty we will could not find that we will later see uh, this okay next <coughs> i told you about the git status it tells about uh, the branch uh, the commits and all those stuff now next what we need to do uh, let's quickly open this folder and try to make some changes so i am opening my <laughs> vs code so i am inside that folder git workshop now what we will do we will just create a file a name app.txt so suppose we are going to make an application uh, and we make a file app.txt and written this is an app so what we did right now we made some changes in our file and uh, we written some text now let's see what the github uh, what the git exactly works so when you write git status now you will find that okay you are on a master branch there are no commits yet but you will see there is a red mark with the app.txt and it says that these files are untracked what the meaning of the untracked files are git is not currently tracking the changes it's not currently seeing what are the changes going on in your app.txt to let git track those all the changes there is a command 
called git add how the git add works let me show you so if there are multiple files what you can do you can do git add and file name like app dot txt if i do that what you will see git state now i check the for the git status it shows okay this file have been added to your tracking area or you can say staged area in git terms we tell if an app uh, if a file or a folder is being tracked that mean it's in staging area if it's not uh, being tracked it's called in unstaging area okay so after adding to it's a, in a staged area what you can do now if you have suppose you have uh, created multiple files like uh, i create one another file uh, like screen.txt and name.txt so now i have created multiple files you can see here also it you that means untracked so vs code provides you these all the features and uh, uh, let me quickly write over here and name okay so we made changes we created more two files again check for the git status so you will see there are two new files that is being added name.txt screen.txt now what if i want that these both two files get added to my staged area then i can't do like this one by one that okay get add name.txt get add screen.txt for that what i will do i will simply do get add and then dot dot means all so it will all of my staged area so uh, let me now it's all added to my stage area okay cool now let's move to the next command that we are uh, going to look at that is uh, git reset now uh, uh, now see what happens like you added these files to your stage area now you uh, some day realize that okay i don't want these files uh to be tracked what should i do so either you can uh, remove one by one using this command git rm cached and file name or you can simply do git reset so as you click click git reset what it will do let's uh, stick with the our git status command it will tell you the answer it has moved all the file to the unstaged area this is how it works you need to track the files put in a, uh, in a staged area you not, do not need to track that file put into unstaged area okay i hope uh, this is clear uh, let me quickly uh, add all the file to the staged area so that we can again work along with that now the next uh, uh, thing at, as i told git rm uh, remove file name Uh, so it uh, like what we are doing with the add with single name and name similar you can do with this command also git rm and uh, then file name as it says rm remove and the file name will remove that file name from the tracking area okay what we are going to next see is uh, git commit what the git commit exactly means is taking the snapshot so uh, let me uh, tell you uh, you would that with the uh, diagram so that you can get better understanding okay don't worry about this this is just my folder and uh, okay so suppose you are at this place you are at this place uh, initially and you have made a file you did some changes suppose you did a change t1 and you put it this on a staged area you put it this file upon a staged area 
that means after what you perform the git add operation you perform the git add operation okay uh, just uh, ignore this mess i think uh, that's not good okay so uh, uh, just go with my uh, voice uh, i think my mouse sensitivity is not correctly working right now so uh, you move this to the staged area so uh, for the staged area i say yes now from the staged area to make a copy what you will do you will make a command called git commit so for the commit i simply write com okay so as you did a commit a copy of this project whatever is right now here a copy is created and it's being uh, named with a token whatever that token name will be you will get to name but you will be given a token name now from here what will happen a name uh, a c1 commit say uh, a c1 commit you did and you moved and now you again started to work then again at some place you make another a uh, commit that is called c2 then again from there you move and again you made a, a commit called c3 at every places some changes have been made so each of these what represents represent that you have the copy of these all the versions of your file you have these version c1 version c2 version c3 version how it helps so suppose today you started to make a file tomorrow you come up with an error in that so what will you do after coming the error either you uh, do one by one finding all the mistakes or or you simply delete all the files but what could be the better resolution is that just switch to the previous version that's fine just switch to the previous thing that we did it saves our lot of time and lot of uh, you can say uh, resources also so suppose here it was working very fine till c2 change it was very working fine in c3 we got some error so what we will do we will quickly go back to our c2 command and start to work from there so uh, this arrow represents the head head is uh, something uh, that you can say that uh, like from where you are currently moving okay so how the git commit command works uh, let me show you that so it's branch i think maybe uh, okay yeah uh, this was the commit one how to uh, uh, commit uh, the changes so you will quickly write git commit minus m very carefully write minus m a lot of time people forget to add and run, come up with an error and i will say first change so your uh, this uh, should be uh, message should be should be very uh, easily understandable understandable uh, quite keep it short and simple so that people could see in a one shot and understand okay so i did change here it shows in a master branch what you did you made three file changed as you can see over here i made the three files made the three changes and uh, in three files you can see there is a mode name and app.txt name.txt and screen.txt got changed what kind of change have been made there are three insertions have been made with a plus sign that means added something is added in that file now how can you uh, now uh, next what i do uh, i again uh, write some more changes uh, so if you see uh, from the uh, this is a feature of a uh, vs code uh, git lens uh, you can see the changes like you seconds ago un uh, uncommitted change okay uh, okay yes if you see you a minute ago first change first change uh, you can see it shows so it's the feature of vs code that you can also use uh, with the git lens and next i am going to uh, this is uh, useful i made uh, only one uh, uh, in one file change okay. this is useful 
and again if i see get status what we are come up with that the, there is a change have been made in app.txt file let quickly add that to come uh, spaced area so it's being added to the spaced area so whenever a file get add to the spaced area you will see that uh, Okay, you will see that file with the green mark. If it's not added in a staged area, you will see that file with a red mark. Okay, that's uh, completely you can uh, uh, see uh, while you are working. Uh, okay, next what we'll do? Uh, we need to commit this uh, also, and I say app updated. Okay, till now what we did. we made uh, these three files given name made change committed then again we made some change in app.txt and uh, just put it uh, the commit again so now suppose you did this for 20 times or 30 times now you want to move to the any one of your uh, commit how can you do with that so there is a command dot uh, called okay let me clear this first Uh, clear this mess. Okay, git log. So after clicking on the git log, you will see all the details. Like you will see, very recent commit uh, that has been made is that commit. It's the commit ID. Head is showing that uh, right now head is in this commit. App updated. That was the message. Author who who has committed this change. You can see the timestamp also. Like currently, it had been done. Previous one, you can see also. So all those things you can see with the Git log. So it's very useful uh, when you want to see all your changes, whatever history of uh, that is being made. So uh, this is uh, till here. Uh, now quickly, uh, let's go to our next command. Uh, reset has been done. Remove has been done. now come to the git branch okay so uh, before starting with the git branch let's quickly go and as uh, we have promised you that today your first pull request will be completed let's quickly go and uh, start that uh, making so what about making the pull request so in and when whenever you go to any open organization open source organizations uh, to contribute uh, what you will do you will just go and find the issues <coughs> whatever is mentioned there or you can raise the issue with the new issue that uh, we can uh, definitely <coughs> see so currently right now uh, this is a practice pr uh, make your first issue uh, so to make uh, to contribute uh, in any repository the first thing very first thing what you need to do is to open that repository we will share this link uh, with you all uh, one thing i do i share it right now later you can uh, see i will also uh, send uh, this uh, or later so this is the workshop and uh, you have to click on this fork so whenever you click on this fork what it will do it will create this uh, fork uh, it will fork this and uh, put it into your github now uh, before that uh, it's very simple uh, to create your github account you have to just uh, go there and uh, create your github account and after that just come there and fork it so i have forked it now what is the next thing i need to do the next thing that you need to do is to uh, just click on this code and copy this copy this url or you can simply copy this url also let's get out of here cd so to go back to the previous folder there's a command called cd dot dot which will which will put you back so right now again i am uh, here cd desktop i move to my desktop and now i i am in desktop now what i do there's a command called git clone what it does it simply clone clone means creates a copy of online repository 
in your local pc so control shift b v this is the url of that forked repository so just simply uh, clone it so after cloning you see it's been cloned okay now i want to see that uh, cloned repo then yes this is you can see uh, uh, this uh, workshop is here and if you open there's a git dot git folder uh, read me this dot git is a hidden folder you need to activate uh, this hidden uh, to view these hidden folders you need to activate this uh, mark so that you can view the hidden folders in your pc now next thing what we need to do what we are going to do so uh, whenever you are contributing to open source na it's generally recommended that you should follow a guideline what is that guideline that do not commit to the master branch or main branch directly so uh, if you write the git branch it shows all the branch okay okay uh, uh, we have not moved to the workshop uh, let's quickly move to the workshop folder so we moved to the workshop folder and uh, we see git status also it's clean nothing it's clean uh, right now and then we will see git branch what the git branch says that you are in a main branch okay main branch uh, what main branch means uh, that you are in a branch in which the main development is going on so one thing that you have to uh, very carefully look at uh don't mess up with that because lot of uh, newbie at open source contributor uh, does this uh, wrong thing that they start to contribute on main branch and their pull request is never going to be accepted and it makes a very bad impression that you don't know about the git and github so you should be very careful about that we always recommend to make a separate branch for our contribution okay so for uh, contributing today uh what i will do i will create an another branch okay so uh, here you can uh, here let me do one thing okay so git branch is used to check list of all branches as i did uh, you can see git branch shows me uh, the list of branch right now what i need to do i have to create an another branch to start my own contribution in that so i will quickly write git branch and branch name so for now i will write git branch and intro okay intro vikash okay so please let me intro vik intro vikash okay so after doing this can you see again git branch uh, commit um, uh, sorry git branch command it will show two branches in which the green mark is there or and the star is mentioned that reference to the branch in which you are currently in so i am in currently main branch now i want to move to the intro branch what i will do i will write git check out intro vikash so as it says you are switched to the branch intro vikash so i am right now i have been switched to the uh, my own branch that i have created you can check it you can confirm it with uh this uh, command intro vikash okay so i have been moved to the intro vikash now what i need to do i have to uh so as uh, in your first commit what it's uh, been decided that uh, what you will do you will uh, quickly go uh, let me open that okay quickly i will open from here uh code dot this is the shortcut to open directly from command line you can use this also and uh, okay uh, let's quickly do a uh, create a file definitely uh, just name it with uh, 
your name and intro okay and after that you can put uh, your uh, college name in short form that makes uh, sense okay so after i created this so <coughs> what i need to do uh, in your first uh, pr uh in your first pr uh, what you can do uh, is uh, uh, write your name like my name is uh, uh, vikash kumar i uh, is doing uh, you write your your own name definitely you will be and uh, i am from uh, just write i am from which college uh, so i will write i am from gp gaya uh next i will write uh, this is my first pr after that after that i made a file i did some changes let's quickly see what it shows i got there it and just type the git status it says it says look you are on a branch intro because if you remember previously we were on a master branch right now i am on a, in my own created branch i made a file named uh, intro vikash gc now what i need to do uh, i need to add this git add dot it as now it's being in a staged area so what i need to do i need to commit so commit write the message uh, my first pr make sense okay 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 as i told a lot of time i also forgot to mention it's uh, my first pr and as you write this okay the files have been modified one file have been changed three insertions you can see here also the u mark came that means uh, right now it's uh, previously it was not modified right now it's been modified so uh, no more u is coming that means uh, it's been tracked right now and it's been committed right now what we need to do that we made the change we did all the thing now what to do next to pull that off in your, uh, our way so we learned about the branch uh, now uh, next is that uh, branch uh, merge uh, we will discuss this later after we finish uh, for github you will uh, forget how i told you uh, just go here uh, you will see the link and create an account and then add ssh key and that will help to clone and then clone i have already discussed about that forking the repo just told you how to fork the repo now we are going to see about the git pull and push okay git pull and push currently there is something called how how do we know that our git is being connected to the remote repository whatever this repository i have to uh, pull it to this online repository now how i am how am i going to pull it off so to do that uh, git uh, remote minus v will tell you okay this is the origin of this uh, repository this local repository uh, which is in your system uh, a workshop is being connected to this online repository okay now what i will do i will simply uh, git pull what git pull does uh, so when you write git pull there is been no tracking information for current branch please specify so since uh, there is a uh, uh, note uh, uh, let's quickly go for the since uh, we have not updated if you see here there is only main branch and we are working upon uh, intro vikas so we will not get that let's quickly go over our um, branch that is our master branch and get check out get check out is used to uh, switch and we go to master Okay, just wait. Okay, branch. I think. Okay, it was main. 
so when you do git in it it come up with a master branch but uh, recently github has some updates so when you uh, clone a repository or create a repository directly from github it shows you main so uh, be careful with that also git check out main so right now again i move to the main and if you see here uh, git pull already up to date what git pull does na uh, git pull will pull all the changes whatever happened over here to your main repository uh, you will see that later uh, when you will contribute and after that when some other people have also contributed when then if you do the git pull then it will show you some uh, few things that you will uh, learn along with when you practice uh, so don't you don't need to worry about these all the things right now i push this uh, git push so push means that i am sending uh, all the changes uh, to uh, your my remote repository that is on uh, github so here it says everything is up to date why it say because i am on main branch main branch did not contain any kind of changes main branch did not contain any kind of changes uh, so how, how it uh, like you can see that file has been gone because we have switched to the main branch and again when i go to that uh, my old branch that was intro vikas so git check out intro vikas again i switched and you see the file is back so how cool is that na if someone is working on another branch you are not going to see his task you are not going to disturb him you are not going to you are on a separate branch you are doing your own work and when you are done when you are finished with that just pull it off okay so i do git push uh setup origin okay so for that uh, right now i i, I uh, set up okay so here it says uh, let me quickly uh, help you with this counting objects uh, four out of four done uh, that that is not up to compressing object that is all about compression and those all the things now here a remote create a pull request to intro branch uh, by visiting here and this is your uh, pull request uh, that is has been made all the things and you can see this changes and all that all those stuff okay so i have made a pull request uh, uh, i have uh, definitely pushed my uh, changes over here so first thing what you have to do if you see compare and and uh, what you will do you will just create a pull request from here so uh, let me quickly again show you what you will do you have the uh, here you click go and click on create pull request compare and pull request create pull request after you click and there will be some checks okay uh, let's uh, let 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 it get over okay the branch has no conflict with the base branch uh, that uh, typically says okay everything is fine and one pull request has been made by vikash kumar you can see the one pull request has been made by vikash kumar now what i will do uh, i will quickly go here and uh, refresh like this is our folder in which uh, the, you see here one pull request has been made so i will open this pull request and see okay 
that this vikash kumar has uh, tried to make a pull request and i will merge this pull request so i merge confirm merge it will check is there any issues no it's not there's no issue fine fine everything looks good and you can see here there been your my first pull request has been made so same way uh, this way you can do as well now coming to the thing this was the one method that uh, we were doing what could be the other method uh, uh, to create a repository later uh, previously i told you about uh, like you can see here contributor list also uh, start to mention and uh, here uh, you will see all branches that is main because that uh, we here uh, this workshop folder and uh, just quickly go back and uh, let me go to my repos okay in your uh, repository you will see two branches but uh, in that main uh, repository which is the organizations repository you will see only one branch so how cool is that that the development has been not disturbed you have performed your task separately over here in your branch and then uh, did all those things now what i will do uh, quickly git status everything is clean and it looks good okay now uh, let's quickly recap about uh, create uh, that uh, yeah let's quickly show you uh, how to create a github account uh, github one uh, okay just let me show you in uh, okay i show you in mine so if you want to create a new repository how you can do the same like whatever we were doing from the terminal git in it you can do the same with here also you just need to create a new repository give a name that uh, like i'd say get uh, test okay it already exists get a uh, workshop okay this is available tick mark is there you can write some description a uh, workshop on get and github you can put this up uh, public or private if you uh, take this private no one else upon the internet is going to see your repository so that's also a very great feature uh, so i am keeping it public right now you can add a readme file that uh, dot git ignore file so what readme files is that let me show you quickly this is called the readme file a readme file uh, simply tells about details of your uh, repository <laughs> so uh, readme is that and how readme shown like you can see here the readme file is shown the next is dot git ignore uh, right now i will show you uh, with the same how, how git ignore is useful so git ignore basically uh, contains the list that which all the files should be ignored so let's quickly type c++ so if i run at any any so it will uh, ignore the c++ uh, execution files so i have created a, uh, ignore this one i have created a new repository now i if i want to work upon this repository you can simply copy it go to your git bash let's move to my desktop and you like get clone control shift v and if you click on this git workshop it will create this repository online over here uh, uh, i should yeah yes this this here if you could see this i got right over here so this is another way uh, to cre create the git repository so this way this was all the basic you can say uh, the basic thing 
today you've got to know that how to contribute how to work with uh, what is the working flow of github and git uh, there are a lot more things to uh, explore in git and github that can't be completed within one session definitely uh, because uh, i have tried to uh, cover all the basic things uh, whatever is needed for more uh, uh, reference what you can do you can just go to uh, website uh, git spm here you will find all the documentation there's a book uh, yeah yeah there's a book uh, about all the git commands and uh, it will tell you all the things like how to get started basics branching branching is very important i told you then there is something called a remote setup a rebase those all the things uh, you have to very carefully understand that but if i tell you if you cover till branching or uh, yeah branching and server and distributed yeah till here if you cover uh, till uh, number 6 it will be great it will be great for you to cover till here or you can just uh, follow some resources that are available on youtube also uh, so that's fine so i hope you got the uh, knowledge that how to create uh, how you are going to uh, make contribution of your first pr let's quickly recap that what you will do you will just uh, okay here uh, i have provided the link you will just click over that link open that link you will go to the fork section you will click on fork what fork will do fork will gently create a repository on your github account after coming to your github account you will click on this code copy this come to your come to your command line type git clone and uh, then url and then just enter and it will make a url then uh, what you are going to do next in that url af after that uh, making clone you will open uh, whichever uh, editor you want or whatever uh, kind of uh change uh, which uh, yeah you can do a simple way also like uh, if you are not using the vs code what you can do just uh, open that uh, folder uh, normally also like I, i i tell you what if you don't have a github workshop uh, uh, vs code then it's not a big deal to do all those things just click on new go to text document name it with uh, as i uh, named here intro vikas shishi uh, for the, now i take this as a text document and open this may write those all the things make save open again uh, your git bash oh i should like to uh cd change directory cd the uh, full form is change directory uh dex let me quickly go to the desktop then again i go to cd workshop and i do ls okay to document this this and what i will do next is uh, that uh, i will if you run the git status you will find that okay this is not being added you will just simply write git add dot you will commit this change and definitely i try to uh, write uh, this method uh, or you can uh, uh, write another also but try to write like it's my first pr in this only uh, for any another purpose write your own message for this and when you are done with it just quickly go and write uh, get pull and it will uh, uh, then uh, then you will uh, sorry okay so yeah 
all the stuff that i did right now you have to do those all the things after creating the branch uh, so get the branch as i told uh, in previous also the recordings uh, i hope uh, let me ask is the recording being done anivesh no i am sorry there is no recording oh, oh okay okay no worry okay so if anyone found any issue you can definitely uh, contact me on linkedin i will try to resolve that all uh, so uh, you have to uh, do this uh, switch to your branch and uh, then uh, get uh, push and your first pull request will be made so hopefully uh, i made you clear with all the concepts we already have a recording like we are doing the record oh, okay thank you so great. much okay yeah oh that's great hopefully everyone got uh, uh, the idea uh, quickly tell me yes or no how how it was uh, uh, are you uh, are you comfortable are you uh, comfortable that uh, you can make your first pr after war <laughs> after this session okay that's great vaskar chetis okay so i will be looking uh, for all your prs and as soon as you uh, submit it i will try to merge it and uh, uh, for any uh, uh, confusion or any kind of uh, please share the links also uh, this okay okay uh, there's no issue I, uh, one thing uh, i do i put uh, this link upon my uh, slides and uh, definitely you can follow uh, from there but uh, one time again i share here also and uh, i put up on slides also so okay i'll uh, probably hide this one okay. so after clicking on upon this you will get the link uh, i will share this uh, slide uh, to you all uh, let me quickly change my setting okay copy link done okay so i'm sharing the link with you all and uh, if you want one thing more i can do oh uh, it okay i hope okay it's been opened by some user so you can access this uh, so it's uh, great to see you all over here i think i made uh, some beneficial benefits uh, from uh, my end uh, so that you can get the basics of git and github later uh, as i as i found uh, you just need a start to get started off later you find your own path and journey to start with uh, try to go uh, from resources try to read some resources get started because you know uh, the one thing is there no one can teach you each and everything you have to start uh, finding the resources today you got the basic idea try to implement it try to get something more about that and that's how okay thank you everyone each of you
thank you so much vikas for this overwhelming session and i hope uh, all have basic understanding about git and github this uh, as you all know git is a very arduous topic so if you are facing uh, any issue or you fail to get anything feel free to message vikas as well as you may message me too vikas please share your linkedin id in the chat section uh, yeah 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 okay let me share that and uh, we will be pleased to help you also uh, we have one session on mlh as i promised you all uh, yesterday that uh, we are going to conduct a session on mlh means how you have to apply for mlh in order to be selected and our guest speaker will be avishek uh, kumar page uh, mlh fellowship 20 of 2021 batch and he is also mentor at google summer of code so hope you all will join that session and because please share the link oh the link yeah yeah i shared and also please fill in the form shared by srishti uh, to get certificate so that we will provide you certificates so i hope you all have enjoyed the session thank you so much for joining this session